Вітаю, наш брифінг присвячений викриттю брехні. Greetings, our briefing is dedicated to exposing lies and propaganda of the aggressor state. In recent days, the source of the spread of lies has been the leader of the country that started this war. During the communication with members of the so-called Waldai Club, Putin made a number of statements that indicate the use of lies as a main line in Russia's state ideology. So what did Putin say during a conversation with journalists and experts at this site? First of all, Putin actually curtailed the information propaganda operation promoted by Russia itself about the elite preparation of a dirty bomb by Ukraine. For several weeks they bombarded the information space with this informer's bomb. After which Putin finally announced that it turns out that their efforts were in vain, saying that after that Ukraine began to curtail preparations for the use of this bomb. Once again I state that all this information from the first letter to the last is a lie. Ukraine has never planned and is not going to use any dirty bombs. This information throw-in was developed by Russia itself in order to reduce the level of informational support for Ukraine from its partners. Kyiv is now doing everything to cover up the traces of the preparation of the dirty bomb. Putin is quoted by Russia today. This is not the only false accusation that was made during this meeting. For example, Putin allowed himself to say that Ukraine arose as an artificial state under the communists. He repeated the status on the eve of the invasion this year. And once again it proves that this invasion was prepared in advance. And for this a pseudo-historical base was created, which is now the basis of the Kremlin's propaganda line. Putin said it is a historical fact that Russians and Ukrainians are one people, another lie that should justify this aggressive war against Ukraine. And another propagandistic throw-in from Putin is the statement that, I quote, the only true guarantor of Ukraine's sovereignty could only be Russia, which created it. Russia, which attacked Ukraine, cannot in any case be a guarantor of sovereignty and can be a state that must pay reparations and compensations to Ukraine for the damage caused and also leave the occupied territories. Well, of course, Putin's statements is the height of cynicism. Right here at the Valdai Club, Russia today is quoted to the whole world for what he said. Unlike the West, we, Russia, do not enter someone else's yard. Meanwhile, how to call the military aggression that began 250 days ago against a sovereign state whose territorial borders were recognized by Russia itself during the reign of Putin's predecessor in this position? Let's continue with other throw-ins by the aggressor state, in particular through the International Modern Diplomacy website. A fake narrative was spread, which we already know, that Poland is going to occupy the western part of Ukraine. This is designed to justify Russia's aggressive actions of occupation of the eastern regions of Ukraine. As it turned out, this publication, which had been on this site for several hours, is no longer available. And this throw-in, a lie from the first to the last letter, did not even hold up on this website which provided a platform for other propagandists to justify Russian aggression. In particular, this site published thesis that Putin's annexation of Crimea was done for the national interest of Russia. That is, even for propagandists such nonsense as the plans of Poland to occupy the western borders of Ukraine is a lie. Why this is being done is clear if you watch the propagandist broadcasts. In particular, a former Ukrainian official, former spokesperson of the Party of Regions, and now one of the collaborators appeared on Solovyov's show and declared that Poland will integrate Western Ukraine and is already undergoing a peaceful capture of the territories now, in order to justify Russian aggression on the eastern borders of Ukraine. And finally, I would like to note with what cynicism Russian propagandists enjoy the news that as a result of their missile strikes on Ukrainian territory, the trip to Kyiv of the delegation of the Czech Republic headed by the Prime Minister was delayed. They enjoy this news and say that the locomotive will carry them back. Thus Russia shows that it is not interested even in the diplomatic framework, which should not affect the third parties of this conflict in particular the European countries that have sent an international delegation headed by the head of the Czech government. And I hope that the visit of the Czech delegation will once again convince our partners that Ukraine needs the widest possible support from Europe in these circumstances. 
I will end this briefing with my traditional appeal not to trust the propagandist of the aggressor state, but to trust the Ukrainian media, the Ukrainian telethon, the Ukrainian local authorities and the military and political leadership. See you.